Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here on the Not Too Shabby channel to create a fun and quick spring mini slimline card. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of the video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. As I get ready to start today's card, which is going to feature the Spring is in the Air stamp set from Not Too Shabby, it is kind of rainy and dreary outside. I'm hoping that creating this card will kind of kick my day off on a brighter note. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of weather you're having today. In addition to that stamp set, I will be using a scallop frame die and some inks from my stash. I plan on doing just a little bit of water coloring to create the background today. Now, as I add any more products or tools, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. I did a little prep off screen by cutting that frame out of black cardstock and cutting a scrap of Bristol Smooth to six by three and a half. The first thing I'll be doing on this card is some water coloring on the top and bottom of that background piece. I will be using this homemade palette, which is just a piece of laminated cardstock, and I do have some water in this little cup. Now I started out by putting some of the blue onto the palette and then I did a water wash on the bottom of my background piece. Then I picked up some of the color that I had just put on the palette and just did a rough wash across where that water was. Then I cleaned off my brush, moved the paper around and did the same thing with the yellow. Now in hindsight, I probably should have done the yellow first because I did have to spend a little extra time cleaning off my brush, but it did end up working okay in the end. Now before I can move on to a little bit more water coloring, I did bring in my heat tool and dry that first layer. When that was done, I did kind of the same thing, just darkening some of the areas on the water colored piece. Then I set this aside to dry while I worked on the rest of the card. Next, I stamped the focal point image, which I am using the ducky with the umbrella. I am using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and a scrap of Nina Solar White cardstock. Now, this is just pretty standard stamping here. I put my cardstock in the corner, set up my stamp, and then I did ink it up and stamp it twice just to get a nice solid black. Once I had my little ducky stamped, I brought in the tri-blend markers that I will be coloring with. When I color with these, I do each section in the light, put the shadow in with the dark, blend it out a little bit with the mid, and then I come back and go over everything again with the light. I will show you some of the coloring here as I do that. You can either listen to the music and watch or skip ahead just a little bit. Once the image was all colored, I took this piece off screen and used my brother scan and cut to fussy cut it out. Because the watercoloring had warped the background piece quite a bit, I stuck this in a book after it was dried and laid a couple things on top of it. It doesn't flatten it out perfectly, but it definitely helps. Also off screen, I put a piece of clear cardstock on the back of the black frame, and now I'm gonna start getting my shaker window ready. The first thing I did was figure out where I want my ducky to go, and I got that adhered on the front of the frame piece. 
Next, because I don't want all of my shaker bits to fall right to the bottom of the window, I poured some into my little triangle tray and I'm going to adhere some that will always stay kind of up in the air on the back of the shaker. I will put one to the left of the ducky just so there's one that stays in the air by it. And then I put, I don't know, five or six dots of glue up in the rest of the sky and put a sequin on each and set it aside to dry for probably about five minutes. While that was drying, I did go ahead and make myself a card base that when it's folded, it's six by three and a half. And now I'm gonna put that ink blended piece onto the card front. Now you'll notice here that I'm using extra adhesive than I usually do. And that's because that paper is still kind of warped. So I wanna make sure it adheres well to the card base. Now, while I'm putting together the rest of my shaker, you'll see I added a little adhesive to the inside just to keep the card flat. Also off screen, I added foam tape to the back of my shaker frame. And you'll notice that I also put some behind the ducky. That's because I don't want any of my shaker bits to get hidden behind that. So I create kind of a little pocket behind the duck where I add some extra sequins. Before placing the frame onto my card front, I do go ahead and make some piles of sequins on the watercolor piece. Then I'm gonna carefully put down the left side of the shaker frame, and when I have it nice and even, I press down the left, and then I can just pull those strips off that I had already started peeling. At this point, I thought the card front was done, so I did decorate the inside, but when I did that, I realized that I had not done a sentiment. Originally, I had wanted to put the I'm here rain or shine sentiment on the front onto the watercolor piece before I put the shaker together. So since I had forgotten to do that, I very, very carefully using my Misty and my stays on black ink, I stamped the sentiment onto the front of the clear cardstock. And when I say carefully, I mean it. I definitely did not want to have to redo the whole card, but it did end up working out in the end. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's mini slimline shaker card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.